The second phase of software development process, as defined by Rational Unified Process Model, is the elaboration. The elaboration is the, actually the first phase where we are doing heavy lifting, so to say, meaning that we are actually starting to do the development work. Coming from the inception phase, where our objective was on uh, getting the idea of if our project will, will ever be economically feasible and getting the idea of requirements and attributes and needed stuff for our project in elaboration phase our focus will shift towards anal analysis workflow and design uh, processes. In practice this means that during the elaboration phase we will be creating the first functional infrastructure of the software and creating the software architecture based on which the, in construction phase we will be building the software. Uh, looking at the workflows and phases of Rational Unified Process, the elaboration phase, marked here, includes activities such as working with the requirements to find, adjust and do requirements analysis to get the idea of what we have to do, creating the first version of the software architecture in analysis and design workflows and starting the implementation with setting up the env environment and platforms and all the other needed things. Finally, as we are doing software development, we also do some testing work since we have to test our systems and test our platforms in the implementation tasks. So the idea is that the elaboration aims to do the project planning for work, feature specification and baseline architecture so that we can start doing the construction work. Uh, construction here meaning that we start doing the programming tasks. The elaboration doesn't have that much uh, phase-specific tasks in itself. The inception phase includes the project scope and the first requirements and the business uh, model, including domain model, which has all the implementation uh, information to start the implementation of design. In elaboration phase, we are more or less going from the inception phase documentation towards something that can be actually realized by doing software development tasks. And the architecture here is the key word. Since we are already familiar with the idea of what we are doing, we more or less uh, have to do in elaboration phase the more advanced version of the same documents. As uh, listed here, the completed domain model, the completed business model, completed requirements artifacts and completed analysis artifacts are things that are more or less just more refined versions of things we already have. The only basically new thing is the architecture. We get the baseline version of the architecture and what the architecture actually is, is the uh, definition of all the components we have to define, how our system will behave and all the other things we have already talked in 4 plus 1 model and the different ways of using UML. Uh, it, for example, in this uh, template for software architecture we more or less have all the things we need to de develop a software. That's the architectural representation, the use case views, logical views, the process views, deployment and implementation views. It also has concepts such as what sort of database we'll, we will be having, what sort of objects we will be using, and the quality and performance requirements. So more or less all the functional and non-functional requirements are defined first time here so that in the actual construction phase we can start the development and programming work and uh, and doing the testing and quality assurance tasks towards the actual launched product. So, considering this, uh, we'll go to the actual milestones, which is a new concept which I have not talked about earlier. In inception, 
The milestone was so-called vision. It means that we have an objective for the product, we have an idea of profitability in our project and we know what the risks are that are involved in the development work. In baseline architecture, which is the uh, main objective of elaboration phase, we, uh, the idea is that we have the requirements, we know how to minimize the risks we know that are involved, we have the architecture, we know the costs and we have a solid plan for implementing the software since this is the final turning point before actually starting to do development.